Welcome back to the Odyssey. I am Mike Odyssey, and uh, we're here, back in front of the camera for season four. Yes, you guys did not know this, but this is my fourth year. I'm entering my fourth year now, celebrating my fourth year anniversary on YouTube here in the month of June or July. I don't remember. It was the, it was one of these months. I know it was in the summer. So here we are, brand new. A uh, little look and everything here right in front of your camera and that means live streams are back which is Monday Tuesday Thursday and Fridays and we'll be here live but hey you guys came here to watch the news and to see the news so let's go ahead and start with the news first we'll start with rapid fire news where I give you everything inside the world of Nintendo along with today's top story or topic which is the Nintendo Switch 2 there's new updates and I want to share them with you let's get started welcome to the Odyssey hit the like press play you're running with the squad like Zeno Blade drive like Mario we on a new alright so first up in rapid fire news we have the Super Mario Brothers movie released on DVD and Blu-ray today officially so if you have not gotten your hands on a Super Mario Brothers movie then you can get it right now it's available on all digital stores and basically DVD, Blu-ray, you can go to Walmart, Target, anywhere they sell DVDs and get your copy of the Super Mario Brothers movie today. Alright, next up in Rapid Fire News, we have Sonic Origins and a little detail you need to know before you buy this game is that if you buy the Deluxe Edition or that extra part, well, when you buy it, it only comes with the cartridge. Yes, only the cartridge and a digital code in order for you to download that extra stuff. Doesn't come in the cartridge. So if you lose a code or lose a cartridge or do both, then you, you're out of luck. But it does come with the cartridge and then a separate code for you to download all the extra stuff they are promising. All right, so just let you know, you're buying Sonic Origins. It doesn't come with the little stuff thingy. It comes with the, with the little cartridge and the little code. Last and not least in rapid fire news, we have The Legend of Zelda coming in at number one for the month of May. That is not a surprise. <laughs> Knowing that it sold 10 million copies in its first three days and then kept selling after that, right? People were obsessed with it. That's all I played in the entire month of May. I moved over to another game right now because I needed to take a little breather. But I mean, yeah, it's the number one game in the month of May. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be the number, number one game of the year. All right, so let's move on to today's top story, and it has to do with the Nintendo Switch 2 and the story that basically, uh, well, I was led to one story, but I have already covered that story, so that made me search for another story, which led me to this video. So yeah, uh, I want to go ahead and shout out to my buddy, Mining Gamer, out there for giving me that other story, which I had already covered. But that story led me to cover this one, and I want to dissect it because you'll 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 see. Let's go ahead and start. Okay, so this news comes to us by Metro.co.uk, and uh, well, it talks about the Nintendo Switch too, but it talks about a company that wants to work with Nintendo on the next Nintendo Switch too. So, and I'm reading from Metro whatever thingy here. Qualcomm's a newer face in the gaming scene, so would Nintendo come to them for Switch to assistance? Uh, that's a little red flag right there because I don't think Nintendo would actually go to any company who has no prior, uh, you know, kind of experience in the gaming industry. They would go to people like Intel or anywhere else who, anybody who has more gaming experience. Let's, let's move on. Semiconductor company Qualcomm says it wants to help Sony and Nintendo make new handheld devices. Stop right there. Qualcomm says... It wants to help Sony and Nintendo make new handheld consoles. Yeah, you just alienated yourself, Qualcomm. Good job. You just said Sony and Nintendo in the same sentence, and you said you want to help them both make new handheld systems, which is not going to happen because Sony doesn't get along with Nintendo. And so, yeah, good luck with that. Let's continue reading. Even though Nintendo itself remains tight lipped, it's widely assumed. That's Nintendo Switch successor is close to finally being announced. A common theory is that its launch is sometime in 2024. And while that's a, de a detail Nintendo refuses to comment on, another company may have let slip that they have some sort of involvement in the new console. Um, you guys are not going to believe this, but let's continue reading. Earlier this month, manufacturer Sharp admitted it will start making, get this, an LCD screen for the new gaming system. Uh, Sharp said that they will start making a new L 
LCD screen for a new gaming system. Why would Nintendo go back to getting a, a Switch or a console with an LCD after they released the OLED with an OLED screen? That's just taking like steps backwards, right? Like moving backwards, like Benjamin Bu Bu Benjamin Buckland? <laughs> Forgot his name. That's another red flag. No, no, Nintendo's not gonna go back to making LCD screens on the next gen console, which should be an upgrade to the OLED. Let's move on. Uh, so it says here, now Qualcomm, which specializes in semiconductors has said that it had conversations with Nintendo regarding future portable devices. Conversations mean nothing. You could have just called them and spoke to their secretary say, Hey, you want to work on your next thing console? And secretary said, Okay, I'll take your, I'll, I'll leave your message and I'll just pass it along. Okay, thank you. And then they went to Metro. Yeah, I don't see them going back and making LCD screens. I think that somebody has to let them know that OLED is here. And then also mini LED, which is kind of also an OLED screens are, are a thing nowadays. And now we have 3D and all that stuff. So yeah, that's basically the update on Nintendo Switch 2. And I just wanted to bring this to you guys because it's news. It's out there and my, my, my job is to bring you guys all the latest news when it comes to Nintendo Switch 2, but this is, this is it. But you know, on the serious note, Nintendo Switch 2, it's on its way. I think we are a less than a year away from actually getting to see the, the Switch 2 announce, you know, and it's, it's going to be a fun time. Nintendo is on its way, getting better and better with theme parks, with movies, and, th and the next-gen console. So there's only great things ahead of us in the world of Nintendo. And uh, that's going to do it for this episode of Odyssey News. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please help me up. I, I, I have a goal of reaching close to 100,000 subscribers before the year ends. I want to get close. I want to just smell it, touch it. You know, I'll, you know. if you let me, hit that subscribe button here. And I'll see you in the next episode of Odyssey News. But before I let you go, I got two important things I need to let you know. Number one, never give up. And number two, journey on. Peace. Welcome to the Odyssey, hit the like, press play You're running with the squad like Xenoblade Drive like Mario, we on a new way Never slow down, winners don't need no breaks And we won't fade, our shine gets greater Staying on the ball like Pokemon trainers From the nest to the Wii, we dangerous You can button mash, but it ain't gonna